we've got the IFC stepping in and guaranteeing $1 billion uh, in a portfolio risk deal. What exactly is this in aid of? Basically, the rationale behind this transaction is nothing new to IFC. We've been doing trade for some time now. This particular situation has come around because since the global crisis of last year, we have seen trade incredibly curtailed. Mm -hmm. Though the numbers have started to come up, we still are not back up to the levels we were in 2008. The purpose of this transaction is really to unblock that curtailment in trade, mm -hmm. working with a great partner who has very good coverage around the, around the world. So really, this is IFC's way of intervening in the markets in order to start the flow of, tra of trade going again. And in terms of uh, you know, the impact you foresee this having, uh, what exactly are you looking at this initiative? Uh, you know, what impact do you see it having on the dent that we've seen in the supply of uh, trade finance in emerging markets? In effect, what we like about this particular transaction, working with Standard Chartered Bank, is, a, is the reach factor of it. Mm -hmm. So through this bank, we should be able to reach, based on the numbers that we have already had from our previous programs, in excess of 70 countries. In those countries, we expect about 40% to be to the poorest of the poorest, which is what I, we call IDA countries. And amongst the largest countries which will benefit, don't forget this is a global program, mm -hmm. but in the top 10 of the, pro of the countries that this will benefit will be Nigeria, which we expect to be about 7% of the program. Well, if we look at Nigeria specifically, I mean, it is regarded as uh, one of the global leading emerging markets, despite the political situation in the country that uh, has created governance issues, crippling, you know, the country's wider recognition at uh, fora such as the G20. Having said that, moving forward, what impact do you see the evolving political situation in the country having on the country's trade, re uh, trade resolutions as we uh, progress? The political situation is probably beyond my reach. I will <laughs> stick with the business side of things. Of course, it impacts what we do on yeah. the business side. So in terms of our views on the political situation, I think the fact that IFC continues to support Nigeria, mm -hmm. and we are the private sector arm of, 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 uh, of the World Bank Group, means that we have a belief that this is, it may have an upheaval at some point, but we don't believe that this is insurmountable. So in terms of the business that we're doing, of course, whenever there is political uncertainty, mm trade, investment, all of these private sector driven businesses will go through a period of curtailment, wait and see. Mm. IFC being then making that statement of confidence that we believe it's right to be there, I think is a great catalyst to continue the business. For now, which sectors are standing in focus? We know that the oil and gas space is glaring, but let's take a look at this in a context where we're looking at economies, and Nigeria being one of them, that are looking to diversify away from their hefty reliance on commodities. I believe for this particular country, you still have a lot of reliance on oil, and that will continue for some time. Having said that, the banking sector, and in the banking sector, I think one has to think broadly about what the banking sector is doing to the underlying economies. So in our case, and IFC in particular has a specific target to agribusiness, to infrastructure, to the areas of health and education. And we are working with eight of the 14 top banks today in, in, in Nigeria to target those specific areas. So those are some of the areas that I think are booming. And also, I would not um, exclude the SME sector, yeah. which booming is a great engine. Booming and engineer. also, obviously, sectors that will contribute to the engines of the economy are continuing to burn.